Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how to create a macro that you can use to automate the process of alphabetizing a list by middle name, first name, and last name. Now before I proceed, this is something that you're going to want to do when the format is always going to remain the same. And uh, by the format I'm referring to the headers on top. The headers must always remain the same. This is something that you will probably do when you're working with a SQL database or some kind of database to where you're going to be downloading the data daily or hourly, however it may be, but you expect more names to be coming in and once the data pool is completed, you want to get that list sorted. So that's that's what this is for. If that's something that you're interested in, I mean, please stick around for this video. For now, we're going to go ahead and get started. So number one, I'm going to assume that you already have a table set up and in your table and you know it looks something similar like this and what you're going to want to do before you even begin the macro is look to see if you have the data filter set up if you don't your screen will look like mine where I don't have any kind of filters before recording your macro you always want to have the filter enabled and the reason behind that is because if you record a macro right now to automate the process and you start it with the filter turned off when you run that macro again you must start the macro with your filter turned off otherwise if you were to start the macro with the, with the filter turned on you're gonna get an error in the VBA coding so one thing that I've already come to learn to do is always have your filter turned on that way it's always going to be the same with your macros so let's go ahead and uh, get this started I have my filter enabled and the way you do that is go to go to your data tab and select filter when you're on the header row and let's go ahead and do the actual recording of the macro I'm gonna hit record macro but just before I hit record macro I'm gonna show you that I have already copied this data and I've placed it into sheet 2 that way I can show you the difference as to that way we can test the macro once we have it completed so let's go to sheet 1 we're gonna do record macro and we're gonna call this sort list I'm going to go on and hit yes because I already had this macro already set up but I'm going to replace it and you want to remember that you're kind of working backwards here because we're, what we're first going to do is sort by middle name we're going to put A to Z first name we'll do A to Z and then last name A to Z this is going to be the final product that we're going to want every time and to kind of show you what I mean I'm going to go down to where I have like the same last name in this case we have this last name right here and we can see that all the first names are in, are in alphabetical order when the last name is the same and then if we had an example where we had let's just, let's just say three Jeffries then we would see the middle name be in alphabetical order as well so now we're gonna stop the macro stop recording and I actually should have stopped it before I before I clicked on the screen but what we're going to do is I'll edit that part out. I'm going to go to my macros. I'm going to hit edit on sort list. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to where I scrolled down a bit and I selected range C22. We don't want that. Okay, so this is going to be, this is all the code that was created in the VBA environment. All this was done by the recorder. We didn't do any kind of programming whatsoever. So when you create this macro, I mean, I'm going to stress that you don't use this code. Simply, you're, you're just going to record your screen and then play the macro back. So now, here's the code. I'm going to close this out. Let's test to see if this works. I'm going to delete my data. And I'm just going to hit the delete key. Although that's not the best way to do it, but I'm going to go on and just for demonstration let me sh paste this data on so let's say we're doing the pool and this is our new data again it's not sorted you're gonna start the macro with the filter turned on because that's the way we originally recorded it the filter was turned on and we're gonna run that macro we're gonna go to macros and we're gonna hit run on sort list and there you have it your list is sorted that concludes this video thank you for watching